Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster. If you just missed it, yesterday Hasbro had a live stream at San Diego Comic Con where they shut off a bunch of brand new Black Series products. And we actually already have a first look at these brand new Black Series products in hand because they're on display at Hasbro's booth at San Diego Comic Con. And so today we're going to be taking a quick look at all of these brand new figures out of the box and in hand, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Really quick though, we're actually giving away this clone two back here on the channel at 15k subscribers so if you do want to make sure you enter into that you do have to be subbed to the channel so go down hit the like button subscribe and once we actually do it 15k i'll make a giveaway video and all you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter and of course, there's still a few days left to enter our member giveaways for the month of July. For our premium members, we're giving away this Arc Trooper Echo. And for our standard members, we're giving away this Imperial Crosshair. If you do want a chance to win, all you have to do is go down and hit that join button down below. Anybody who joins in the month of July will automatically be entered to win, but there's only a few days left. So if you do want a chance to win this Arc Trooper Echo or Imperial Crosshair, consider going down and hitting that join button down below. Anyway, on to the video. Now all these photos are from Visual Force on Instagram, so make sure to go give them a follow, but first up here we do have the photo of the brand new Imperial Armored Commando, and this thing looks absolutely incredible. Uh, I know we saw the leaked photos a little while ago, but I absolutely love how this guy turned out. Um, I think the helmet looks great, I think the armor looks amazing, and overall I think the articulation looks really good as well. We are definitely going to have to wait till we get this figure in hand to fully judge it, but uh, this is just the one I'm most excited for out of all the reveals. I'm a huge Imperial fan, so any chance to get more troopers like this is a win for me, and uh, I'm just loving how this guy looks. Next up here is Ahsoka from Peridia, and I think she turned out amazing. I do absolutely love the brand new legs, some new gauntlet pieces, and it looks like a little bit of a new torso here as well. I think she turned out great, especially with that new head. Uh, the Laku are longer, and I do think it looks a little bit more like Rosario Dawson, so really, really happy with this update to Ahsoka. Biggest problem, of course, everybody's saying is that it doesn't come with the cloak. I'm really bummed that it doesn't either, and uh, I think this one is going to be one that you have to buy some kind of... Uh, uh, like cloak off of a custom site or wait for maybe a deluxe version or a mercenary version that does have a cloak. We'll have to wait and see. I think that's just the biggest bummer is that it's Ahsoka the White and Ahsoka the White's pretty known for having a white cloak and so without the white cloak she's not really Ahsoka the White and so it's a little bit disappointing um, but I do think all the sculpting and molding that went into this figure does look incredible so... We'll have to wait and see, but I, I do think it looks good. Next up here, we do have two figures in this image. On the left, we have Dedra Miro, and I think she looks really dang good. It does look like she's on the Tala base body, which is alright. I mean, it's what we kind of expected. We're getting another female officer, so it fits that pretty well. I uh, do wish they would have updated the arms, because those arms are the exact same original Imperial officer arms we've been getting for years, same as like Grand Moff Tarkin and all those, and so articulation is not great for them, but uh, I do definitely like the updated legs here. Uh, I think she looks great, I think the face sculpt looks amazing, and correction, she does come with a blaster, I know in the last uh, video I said that she didn't, but no, she does, um, which I think is good, I would have been upset if she didn't come with a blaster, but she looks good and she's just going to be a good addition to the Imperial shelf with the rest of the officers. And we also have IG-12 in this photo too, and I think we can really get a good idea of the scale of this figure because he is a good few inches behind uh, Dedra Miro, and he still just towers over her, so I think this is a good sign for the scale of this figure. Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty big and pretty accurate to the TV show, which is a huge improvement. Now, IG-12 is not my favorite version of this character that we've seen, but I'm really hoping they decide to do an updated IG-11 or IG-88 using this new base body so we'll have to wait and see I think it'll be pretty easy for them to do and I know they don't normally put a lot of the sculpting into this kind of stuff if they don't plan on reusing it so uh, we'll have to wait and see but fingers crossed I do expect them to reuse it and I do really like the scale of this figure because seeing it being like much bigger is a huge improvement compared to the uh, previous one and I'm just hoping that they fix the balance issues with it too because the original one cannot stand up to save its life so We'll have to wait and see, but I'm excited for this one. I know when this thing was first revealed, I was a little nervous about the price. It's going to be a $33.99 figure, so, you know, the t pretty typical deluxe price these days. But I was a little bit worried about that, but after seeing the scale, I think that is going to be a pretty fair price. So, uh, overall, I'm, I think I'm happy with it. Next up here, we do have some of the Acolyte figures and Andor. Starting off at the left side, we do have uh, Vanestra, and I just don't think I really like this figure that much. I, I'm kind of on the fence. I like getting as many Jedi as we can in the line, but she's got that, like, traffic cone skirt going on, 
and I just kind of wish she would have been in her Jedi robes rather than this outfit. I know this is the outfit she primarily wears, but I think I would have preferred them to use the Jedi robes for her instead. I think that's just more of what I'm looking for out of the Acolyte line. I think I'm just using it to get cool looking Jedi figures and this one is just not really my favorite. Um, I know a lot of people love the character. I know she's from some of the High Republic books and so if you like her, you do you. It's just not really kind of my thing and I'm not a huge fan of how this figure looks but if she goes on clearance I'll probably pick her up just to put with the rest of my Acolyte figures but I just kind of wish she was in her Jedi robes. That's that's really just me personally though. Next up we do have Basil from the Acolyte, and this is another one that I just really could care less about too. Uh, again, I think he's a cool character, and if you like him, feel free to pick him up. I won't stop you, but um, you know, again, just not my favorite character from the Acolyte. I think I prefer Jedi from the show, um, and especially for a figure this small, I have a hard time paying full price for it, but um, I know a lot of people like the character, so you do you, but it's just not really my thing. Um, but I think he looks great. I think it's a great alien sculpt that I know Hasbro always kills it with the aliens here. So I think the figure looks amazing. It's just not really my thing. But I gotta say, right in the middle here, we do have Andor, and he looks absolutely incredible. This is his season two look, and I'm really, really digging how this turned out. He's got like the black leather jacket on the black pants, and I think it turned out great. Uh, this is probably my favorite uh, version of Andor we've gotten so far. I like the Rogue One version. I don't like the actual Andor version at all. I don't like the big trench coat. It's big and bulky, and overall, I'm just not a huge fan of that character. And so uh, this one, though, I absolutely love, and this will probably be the Andor I end up picking up and putting on display because I think it looks amazing, and I'm excited to see what other uh, figures we get from the Andor show because this one is definitely... Uh, this one's definitely killing it. Next up, we actually do have a close-up of Andor's face, and he looks incredible. I gotta say, this is easily the best likeness to the actor that plays Andor uh, by far. It looks amazing, and this is one I'm really excited for, so um, yeah. If, if you guys like it, let me know down in the comments, but I, I'm really liking this one a lot. But yeah, that is actually all of the brand new figures that we got to see at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm really digging the fact that we're able to see these figures on display right after they're announced. That's something I've always loved about these Comic-Cons, especially something like Star Wars Celebration. And I'm just really glad they do it because it gives us a great representation of what these figures are going to look like on the shelf before you actually have to go out and pre-order them. So really happy with these. All of these figures, I believe, are up for pre-order except for Dead Ramiro and Ahsoka, which are weird. I believe they said that they are not going up for pre-order. They're just going to show up in stores. So we'll have to wait and see. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on any Black Series news. So hit that sub button so you don't miss out. But that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.